The most important thing, the Bible says, in the last days I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. His spirit being poured upon us is the anointing. And that's the most important thing. You're watching me and I'm not where you are, but there is no spiritual distance. You see, all you need at this point in time is the anointing. So spiritually, I can give you what you need, what you want. You can still receive it. Now, the Bible here speaks of you know, great and, and interesting things and mighty things from the, from the Bible. When the Bible actually says Elisha was with Elijah for a long period of time. Hand time came where Elijah was supposed to be separated from Elisha. And he asked the question, what can I do for you? All he asked was anointing. He said, all I need is not the anointing, my own anointing from God. He said, all I need is your anointing so Elijah said wait a moment when you see me going up what I'm gonna give it to you pick it um, Elisha he believed he said okay he never argued he allowed the anointing to raise his spiritual father up before the anointing coming to him the anointing must be able to raise a spiritual father up first before the anointing can be passed on to sons and to daughters. That's what anointing is supposed to be, to, to, to be. A father must be a person who has been raised up by God. Not just somebody who like, oh, I want to give you anointing. No, somebody who God has raised up. Then he's able to pass the anointing. Now, he passed that anointing to Elisha. Now, did you hear that? He passed the anointing to Elisha. And Elisha wanted to pass that anointing to Gehaz. You know, in the, in the Hebrew it's called Gehaz. He wanted to pass the anointing to Gehaz. But Gehaz was the wrong person to receive the anointing. It took 3,200 years for the anointing to move, which was on Elijah, which went on Elisha. It stayed on earth for 3,200 years before it was passed to another person. There was no candidate. The only candidate was John. So God said the anointing that we're going to give John is not coming from heaven. It's already on earth. Someone had it thousands of years ago. So we'll take that anointing and put it on John. Oh my God. So the Bible says he shall go in the spirit and in the power of Elijah. Now, so God didn't say he's going to go in the power and the spirit of an angel. No, but in the power of Elijah. Elijah was a man of God. He was a man like you and me. He was living on earth, but he was not there. He was on, on earth present with the people. Now, but he said the anointing that works on him is able to impact the lives of people through John. So I may, I, may, I may be far from where you are, but I believe that the anointing that God has given me, I can share to you. And this anointing can minister to you where you are. And great things can happen wherever you are sitting, wherever you are. The anointing that I carry, I can transfer this anointing to where you are. Now, we got people who will be like, mm, <clears throat> I have my own anointing. I, I can pray myself straight. God is not foolish. Why didn't he say to John, you use your anointing, John. Pray using your anointing. Why did God say you must use somebody's anointing? Because God is aware how the anointing works. It doesn't just work like that. Now, for the, for the anointing to work properly on Elisha, the Bible says Elisha tore his clothes, his own clothes. And he took the cloth which was given by Elisha and put it on. And that's a big mistake you will have here with so many people who want the anointing to work for them. They just take oil and anoint them like, oh, I'm anointed. It doesn't go like that. It's a principle. Kill, kill, your, tear your own cloth. What do I mean? Your own covering, which you were, which you were believing at first, like this is my anointing and this is what I use. You must tear it first and take the mantle from the man of God and put it on. The Bible says so. If you see now people struggling in prayer, they want to ride on their own anointing. When God has given them a man of God who they should ride under. 
so when you put your own anointing you tr you, you 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 want to achieve on yourself i can do it it's the same exact thing which the bible says apostle paul said the same stuff several times apostle paul said that he said that he said my god shall answer all your needs according to his glorious riches in heaven he didn't say your god is my god shall answer this is why apostle paul could take handkerchiefs and give people and miracles could happen because there were there was anointing in the cloth which paul had given them why so i can share the anointing to you you're watching me now i can share the anointing to you to make matters worse when elijah when he saw that elijah had given him a mantle he tore his cloth the mantle which was given was a form of a coat so he tore his coat and put on the court of elijah and he began to walk so elisha when after getting the mantle he's putting it on he, he tore his clothes and put on the mantle when he went at the river jordan he couldn't cross guess what he did he had to become naked now he had to take off the mantle the cloak which had, he was putting on in order to hit the water when he hit the water the water split now the question could be why using the coat of elijah to hit the water because the waters were used to the cloak or to the mantle of elijah the waters were used if if we feel this test of a clock it is elijah we give up there are problems i have been casting out which have never casted they are used to my anointing when you use the anointing of major one those problems know that this anointing we we come out this anointing we leave this anointing we disappear this anointing so every man of god on the first of the earth they have got their own special anointing you see even you have got your own anointing but when you are under somebody when you submit or you you have your father major one who's your spiritual father when you use the anointing what happens is this so many people make mistakes where they feel their own anointing can work all right there are special anointings which are some problems they are used to they know that this is elijah i have to give way so there was a giving in of way now but the, the my big problem here that i have is elijah benefited from that anointing but not gehaz john benefited from this anointing but only in one portion because the bible here says he shall go in the spirit and in the power of elijah so john according to luke chapter 1 verse 13 to 17 he was supposed to to to, to, to manifest the anointing of elijah but we see that john only manifest one portion of the anointing here the anointing has been divided in two one in the spirit two in the power but we see john only manifesting in the spirit not in the power now if you go to john um chapter one from verse 20 to 21 you, you'll be so shocked with this statement john just denied to be a prophet he just denied it all right he just denied it and and he denied he's a prophet yet the prophecy says he will go in the spirit of elijah and in the power of elijah how many people today they'll be like oh do, do, do you use the anointing of major one i uh, know the same thing that happened to john and what happened to john he was killed if you read down there john was killed and you know how he was killed he was killed with a sword he was his head was cut off but elijah was not killed he went to heaven on a chariot so he denied what he was supposed to be there are so many people today who because of some certain things in the last they end up saying i'm using my own anointing or i don't you see pride comes in and because pride comes before destruction they are destroyed don't be like john who it was prophesied he must use this anointing and then on his own changed and said he's not that he denied said no i'm not that i'm not elijah i'm not you know if he said yes everyone would be scared because people were so scared of john according to the bible they were scared that john would call fire from heaven but when they heard he is not they killed him you know because the anointing which they got used to was the elijah's anointing they knew the anointing of elijah will call for fire this i want to say this to you as i pray with you today you may have sickness you may have um any problem you may have um, um 
every type of pain that you may have, God says I should tell you, we are breaking the problem in the name of Jesus. And we're commanding the problem to come out in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. 